I'm sure most of you would know that perhaps the only fetal organ that is not fully developed at birth is the fetal brain. So unlike the heart, the lungs, the liver or the kidneys, wherein what you see at the anomaly scan is pretty much what you would see at the growth scan and perhaps even at birth. When it comes to the fetal brain, its anatomy changes every single day, every passing week. And which is what makes fetal neurosonography really challenging because what you need is not just a thorough in-depth understanding of the development of the brain, but also a lot of patience, pertinence and perseverance. So this course has basically been designed to simplify this challenge. And as is the case with most of my lectures, you will find that the focus or the emphasis is on keeping things simple and stupid. There would of course be a lot of illustrations, pictures, flowcharts, diagrams, ultrasound images, MRI pictures, um, snippets, snapshots, and of course even uh, fetal autopsy specimens thanks to my wife who happens to be a fetal pathologist. So my promise to you is that I've put in my best effort to, to tailor these courses and I've tried to my best to, uh, to pass on the knowledge that I've learned from these absolute experts in the last few years to all of you who are attending this course. At the end of the course, you would have a far better understanding of the fetal brain than you did before. Uh, let me invite all of you to, 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 to join me in this venture as I try and unravel the mysteries of the fetal brain to you.